Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be doing a full Pilates workout. So you can just make your way back to your mat. We're going to start by checking the feet. Make sure that the hip width apart and toes are pointing straight forward. Feel how the heels are grounded deep into the ground. Shoulders are relaxed. Thinking about the belly button, feel how it's being pulled in, lengthening all the way high up. And feel how you're being pulled at the tip of the head, lengthening the spine. Just going to take a deep breath in, pull the shoulders up to the ears. And a slow exhale, relaxing them back down. Repeat it once more, inhale up. And exhale, we're going to roll down all the way, drop the chin, the shoulders, round in the back, drop the upper body down heavy until so your fingers have touched the ground and rolling back up again. And exhale down. And inhale back up. Two more times. And up. And one, you're gonna hold it there and stay down there. Just feel how the upper body is drop down heavy. Walk your hands forward out into a dark stretch. Spreading the fingertips, going high up on the toes. Push that upper body towards the legs. Inhale and exhale, heels dropping down. Again, inhale up and exhale back down. From there, just bend the knees and drop them down onto the ground. On all fours, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Rounding your back up for a deep calf stretch. And exhale, reverse it, sink into your lower back and chin up. First, rounding the hips in. And back out. You're going to go into a balancing, extending the left leg out with the right arm. Feel the fingertips being pulled, feel the toes being pulled, lengthening it, keeping that belly button tight, a long neutral back spine, straight arm, straight leg, just down, tap the ground and lift it up. We have a 10, 9, 8, Seven, keep the belly button tight, keep it slow and under control. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. And put it back in, immediate change over. Right leg extends out with the left arm. Inhale on the exhale, we tap her down. Again, lengthen the arm, lengthen the leg for 10 more. Keep it strong, belly button tight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lifting it up and pulling it back down. Then we're gonna change it over again, extending the left leg out with the right arm. We're going to inhale on the exhale, we're going to tuck it in, round it up, feel the hand near nose wants to touch and then lengthen it out and exhale, crunching it in, pulling the belly button tight and we go for 10, lengthen it out, 9, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one more. Lengthen it out, stretch it out, and then you can place it back down. Immediate change over right leg out and the left arm. Inhale on the exhale, run it up. Pull the belly button tight. We have a 10, 9, 7, 6, 
Lengthen the arm, lengthen the leg when you stretch it out. Four. Three. Two. And one. Lengthen and stretch it out and place it back down. From there, we're going to keep our hands underneath our shoulders. We're just going to extend our right leg out. Only lengthen and stretching that right leg. Do a toe tap down and lift it up. <sighs> Squeezing the bum, lengthen the legs, belly button tight. We need to think about everything. <sighs> we go for 10 more. Nine. <sighs> Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Pull it in, immediate change over. Left leg out first, feel how the toes are being pulled, lengthen and stretching it. Keeping all the muscles tight and we tap it down and lengthen it up. <sighs> Keep on breathing, don't stop breathing. 10 more, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and pull it back in. We're gonna take it over again to the right leg, lengthen and stretch in the right leg out. Now, as you take the right leg up, you're gonna bend your elbows into a Pilates push-up, and lengthen it back down, belly button tight. And up. And up, good, we go for 10 more. And 10. Nine. Feel the toes being pulled, lengthen and stretching it. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Pull it in. Immediate change over. We're gonna feel those arms now. Keep the belly button tight, lengthen the leg out first. Inhale, on the exhale, leg goes up, elbows go down, Pilates push up. Keep on breathing, thinking about every muscle that's working for 10 more. Nine. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Good, and pull it in. Take it back into child's pose for a second. Feet together, knees apart. I want you to sit back down on your heels and then lengthen and stretching that body forward. Relaxing it down. Taking a deep breath in. And out. Good. Then we're just going to pull it back up again. Back up onto all fours, hands and knees. Taking it back to the right leg again. Lengthen and stretching the right leg out. From there, we're only going to tuck the knee in. Feel the nose and the knee wants to touch. And we kick back up with a pulse. And pulse it up. As well for 10. We're staying in the tens today. Nine. Eight. Squeeze that bum. Lengthen the leg. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. And back down. Immediate change over, left leg out, crunching it in, belly button tight and pulse it up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 
and one out and back down good from there we're gonna go back up into dog stretch inhale as you go up and exhale heels back deep into the ground hold it there for a breath in and out walking your feet forward underneath the arms and go sit back down good making sure your feet and knees are hip width apart just grab the hands underneath for a second pulling the chest up feel this chest is being pulled up the tip of the head is lengthening shoulders are dropped down taking a deep breath in and out From here, you can either extend your hands out in front of you, but you need to keep that back straight, keep the belly button tight, or you can place your hands right behind you. We're gonna, let's keep our hands behind us, and from there, if you feel you can extend them out, you're welcome to extend them out. We're just going to extend our right leg up and tap it back down, and up and down. Keep the belly button tight, keep the legs strong, we go for 10 more, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Immediate change over, the left leg goes. Lengthen it, stretching the belly button tight. If you already feel you can extend the arms out, remember you can extend them out. Eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And pull your back up straight again, lengthen it out, drop the shoulders, long neck, ribs in, belly button in, and we inhale in and out. From here, we're going to extend the arms straight out. Slightly lean back so you can feel that core activated. We're going to inhale on the exhale. You're going to twist down and inhale back up and twist. Let's keep it to the right side for now. Five, four, three, two, one, take it straight over to the left. Keep the belly button tight. Keep the ribs in. Lengthening it. Five, four, three, two, one. Take it to the right again. And now you're going to extend the right leg up as well. Keep it strong. Lengthening it. Five. Four, three, two, one, straight over to the left. Inhale and exhale, we twist. Five, four, three, two, and one, and up, hands underneath the knees, pull that back straight, breathing in and out we're going to move forward on our mat so you make sure you've got space behind you arm stretch out inhale on the exhale controlled roll the back down all the way down pull the feet closer and drop the head down keep the arms stretched straight up make sure the belly button is down the lower back is falls deep into the ground we're going to go into a normal break at the breastbone in our prepare on the exhale, just scoop it up and inhale down. Keep the belly button tight. Eyes out to your pelvis, shoulders relaxed. We're just getting more visitors every time. We go for 10 more. Nine. Eight. Seven, keep on breathing. 
5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and back down. From now we're going to relax our arms on the side, walk those fingertips down, feel them lengthening and stretching so the shoulders are pulled away from the ears. We're going to focus on our right leg, lifting the right leg up 90 degrees tabletop, keep the belly button tight, we're going to go into a toe tap down and up. Make sure your knees locked and the movement is coming from the hip. Good. We go for 10, 9, everything needs to stay tight, lower back falls deep into the ground, 7, 6, 5, fingertips are relaxed, 4, 3, 2, 1, lift it up and place it down, immediate change over, left leg up 90 degrees, knee lock movement from the hip, toe tap down, 10 as well, keep everything tight, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good, and place it back down. Arms high up to the ceiling again. Make sure they're in line with the shoulders. We're going to inhale. On your exhale, you're going to do a break at the breastbone and lift up the right leg. And tap it back down, and we change it over. Almost feel like your nose and the knee wants to touch, crunching it all together. We go for 10 on the side. 9. 9. 8. 7. Six more. Every time feel how the muscles are stronger, tighter. Five. Keep that lower back force deep into the ground. Four. And four. Three. Two. Two, one, last one on the left, and relax it back down. Relaxing the arms next to your side again, lower back falls deep into the ground, neck and shoulders relax. We're going to lift both legs up 90 degrees, but one leg up at a time. Make sure the belly button stays tight, lower back is falls deep into the ground, both legs at the same time are going to toe tap down and lift them back up. Make sure your arms are relaxed, belly button is tight. We're doing 10, 9, 8, keep it tight, 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 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, just two more, keep it tight, two and one good you can place it all the way back down again back to breaking at the breastbone arms up now we're going to lift up both legs so you can in our prepare on the exhale a break at the breastbone lifting up both knees and tap it down don't put your feet back down just do a toe tap down for ten nine Use that exhale when you come up. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. And back down. Just give you a legs a hug into the chest relax the neck relax the shoulders breathing deep in 
and out. From there, you're gonna hug both legs in, coming up, break at the breastbone, and we're gonna go into our single leg stretch. You're gonna hug the right leg in, lengthen the left leg out, and then from there, you're just gonna change it over. Keep your eyes side to your pelvis. Lift those shoulder blades, belly button tight. Feel the toes being pulled, lengthening and stretching it. We go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hug both legs in again, drop it down, relax the neck, relax the shoulders. Deep in and out. Good. From there, I want you to just roll over. So I'm gonna roll over on my right. We're gonna extend our arm out, relax the neck and shoulder on your arm. Our bottom leg, we're going to bend. Top leg is going to be straight out in line with the hips. Still making sure the belly button is tight. Make sure it doesn't drop down now. Keep your hips straight in the line. Make sure you're not rolling back or too much forward. We can place our free hand in front of us just to stable ourselves or you can extend it high up while the top left leg just lengthens up and down. Keep it tight. Feel that leg lengthening and stretching. We go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it there in line with the hips. From there, you're gonna bend the knee in, pull it in, crunch it in, and when you extend it out, you're going to give a straight leg, push back. But when you push back, make sure the hips doesn't drop now. They stay st straight in one of another and you just lift the leg back. Pull the knee in and the straight leg goes back. Belly button stays tight. <sighs> Let's add 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, and straight leg again. From here again, straight leg left up and down. You should feel it by now. Lengthening and stretching it. 10, nine, eight, keep everything tight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it out, lengthen it there, stretch it there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bend it in and place it down. Good, we're gonna push onto our left hand, push yourself up, I'm just gonna swing myself around. You can just turn over if you feel like that's easier. Lengthen the left arm out, relaxing the neck, shoulders, left leg bend, top straight leg out, belly button tight. Start by lifting it up and down. So you know now, keep the hips straight over one another. Lengthen that right leg for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lengthen it out. Pull the bend knee into the chest. Straight leg, give a pulse back. Good, and in and pulse it back. Squeeze that bum for 10, nine, keep the belly button tight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two more lengthen, stretching it, belly button tight. One more, then there's the straight leg up again, lengthen it up immediately. We're almost there, don't drop it down yet. 10, nine, belly button tight, squeeze the bum, lengthen the leg. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more up, and then it's just in line with the hips, lengthen and stretching it, hold there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and pull the knee in, relax it down. Breathing deep in and out. Pushing yourself on your right hand all the way high up. Then from there, I'm just gonna twist over and go lie flat down on my belly button. I'm gonna keep my hands, fingertips underneath the forehead, keeping it relaxed. Straight legs lengthen out. We're just gonna start with the right leg, lengthen it up and down. Squeezing that bum again, keep it tight, feel the legs lengthening and stretching. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Change it over. 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Back down, place the hands next to the chest. From here, I just want you to push into your hands, but just halfway. Don't extend the arms all the way. And back down. Thinking about your shoulder blades. Feel the shoulder blades being squeezed together. And back down. Imagine there's a pencil in between your shoulder blades and you're holding it there. It's not allowed to drop down. Feel the arms. We're doing 10 more. Nine. Feel the belly button stretching. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. You can go all the way back into child's pose. Feet together, knees apart, sit back, lengthen and stretching it out. Taking one deep breath in and out. Then push yourself back up again. From here, you're just going to sit. We're going to just sit cross legs. Just comfortably sit down. Shoulders relax, lengthen the back spine. I'm going to place my right hand on the ground and the left arm is going to stretch over. You can bend that right elbow, reach it over and back up and stretching it. Feel the side lengthening and stretching. We go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, immediate drop it over to the left, reaching the right arm over. Keep the body straight and tall for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and down. Relax your hands on your lap, palms facing up, closing your eyes, 
pull the belly button in, pull the ribs in, drop the shoulders down. Breathe in deep in the nose and out the mouth. Thinking about the mouth, relaxing that as well. Relaxing the eyes. From there, just pull your shoulders up to your ears, tense it, squeeze it as much as you can, and then a slow release down. Feel how you're making space for the neck, dropping the shoulders down. Again, inhale up and back down. Interlace your fingertips back behind the head there. You're just going to pull slightly at the back of the head, drop the chin in, drop the shoulders down, drop the elbows. And lengthen it back up. And exhale, closing again. And inhale, back up. Extend the arms high up from there. Deep breath in, look up at your fingertips. Inhale and exhale, relaxing it down. Good. Well done. Thank you for joining me today and please make sure to check out the next videos. Bye bye.